Could this be the beginning of the end as administration becomes official? Welcome back guys to Sort of Scotland TV and today we're not talking about hearts. We're not even talking about Scotland, but we are talking about a Scottish club. And that club is Inverness Caledonian Thistle, who have officially been placed into administration as the fight for their survival continues. Now, we've known the rumours about Inverness and the fact that they have been in a lot of debt and it was likely that they were going to have to enter administration. They did turn down a few offers from people to buy stakes in the club. I think for the main reason is they wanted to maintain at least 50% so that they had the majority shareholds. So yeah, there was a couple of business owners that wanted to buy Inverness Caledonia Thistle, but they wanted more than the 50%. So therefore the club had decided to turn that down. And now they go into administration. This comes with a 15 point deduction. Not what Inverness need, especially considering they are kind of battling relegation already. And this 15 points deduction is just going to make things even harder for them. And I think it's just, it goes to show you, you know, that it doesn't really take a lot for, you know, this to happen to a club. We're looking at a club that a decade ago was winning the Scottish Cup and was finishing third in the Scottish Premiership. So, and then even after that, you know, they were in the Premiership for a decent amount of time. So, you know, it's not that long ago. It's not like they're talking, you know, decades and decades ago that this club was successful. We're, we're talking the last, within the last 10 years, this is a club that has won a Scottish Cup, finished as high as third on the table and had consecutive seasons as a Premiership club. And, and now we could be looking at Inverness in possibly a year or two, maybe not even being in the pyramid or possibly even ceasing to exist. So it's disappointing. Obviously don't want this to happen to any Scottish football club and it's just a shame that Inverness find themselves in this situation. Now, um, a spokesperson for the BDO said that, quote, we can confirm a formal appointment has been made and Inverness Caledonian Thistle is now in administration. We understand this will be a difficult and uncertain time for the club, its staff, its loyal fan base and the local community. The administrators will be in a position to provide further information and their plan to seek to secure the long-term future of the club is in due course. End of quote. So, I mean, that sucks. Uh, obviously, we know Duncan Ferguson right now is currently the manager. He is doing it for free, though, or at least he has offered to do it for free. It does look like a lot of staff will probably lose their jobs over this. So, will Duncan Ferguson stay? Will he be a man of his word? Will he continue to uh, to work for no money. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But it's not a good day for Scottish football. And especially for Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Who find themselves in this bad situation. And I hope they can recover from it. I hope they can come out um, stronger. And still intact. And still the same club. And uh, you know bounce back. And get back to where they belong. Which I think is probably at least the championship, if not trying to get back into the Premiership. So, yeah, Inverness, Caledonian, Thistle, don't I see any Scottish club go to the game? I don't I see any Scottish club go into administration. But this does go to show you how, you know, things can quickly spiral out of control and that, you know, even clubs that have top flight success, you know, after a few years of maybe, you know, being in the lower leagues, uh, the financial aspect of that can have its effect on you and it, and it can put you in this sort of situation. So, yeah, we'll be interested to see what happens. But uh, shout out to Inverness fans, shout out to the Inverness Football Club. Hopefully, this is not the end of them. But, uh, yeah, not a good step, not a good situation. But it is the, I guess it's the, the only action that they could take. They didn't want to bring in a new owner who had over 50% of the ownership of the club so they've decided administration is the best option so fair play to them we'll see if it works out guys let me know your thoughts down below do you think they should have just sold the club i think they should have i think that would be the best way to go but they've decided that they don't want to do that and the administration would be better for the club or maybe they're, they're just being stubborn and they would rather go into administration than lose ownership which is probably uh, the most likely thing but I don't know, guys. I, I think they made the wrong call here. They had an option to, you know, save the club. There was investors coming in willing to pay the money. Inverness have turned that down. That's on them. We'll see what happens in the future. Let me know your thoughts down below. Till then, though, being Scott TV. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. Subscribe and peace.